Hey, I'm Jonas. In this video, I will be guiding on you how to craft and farm skill Dragon Jades in Dragon Nest C. Now, without further ado, let's start. Okay, for some of you who are new to Dragon Nest, what are skill Dragon Jades? There are three types of skill Dragon Jades which are, Dreamy, Blood Moon, and Verger Dragon Jade. Dreamy, Blood Moon, and Verger Dragon Jades modify the animation of certain skills and increase their damage for all character classes. How about Ancient Dragon Jade? Is it different? Ancient Dragon Jade is a separate skill jade system, unlike Dreamy, Blood Moon, and Verger Dragon Jade. It solely enhances the character's hero skill. I will tackle Ancient Dragon Jade in a separate video, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. For now, we will only focus on the three skill jades, Dreamy, Blood Moon, and Verger Dragon Jade. Okay, let's now answer the question, how do we get skill jades? One of the ways to get a skill dragon jade is by crafting using skill dragon jade fragments. Go and talk to any blacksmith NPC, select the craft item option, and go to dragon jade and talisman tab, and in there you will see the skill jade crafting page for dreamy, blood moon, and verger dragon jade. To craft a dreamy dragon jade, you will need dream fragments. The same applies to the other two skill jades, to craft a blood moon dragon jade, you will need moon fragments, and to craft a verger dragon jade, you will need forest fragments. In order to craft a skill jade, you will need a total of 89 pieces of skill jade fragments. Okay, let's now answer the question, how do we get these skill jade fragments? Skill jade fragments are dropped from Tomb Invader that appears in dungeon stages starting from Labyrinth 6 and above difficulty. Important note, this is what a Tomb Invader looks like, and this is what a normal dungeon invader looks like. Additionally, the appearance chance rate of a tomb invader is lower than that of a normal dungeon invader. In short, it's not guaranteed to encounter one. Furthermore, the appearance rate chance for a tomb invader is fixed for all labyrinth difficulties. So, it doesn't matter if you run at labyrinth 6, 11, 15, or 20, the appearance chance rate is the same. So, how many skill jade fragments do we get from killing all spawns of tomb invader? You will receive a total of 50 skill jade fragments, which includes dream, moon, and forest fragments. Important note, I want to clarify that, you will receive 50 skill jade fragments in total, not 50 for each type. This means you may obtain 13 dream fragments, along with 20 moon fragments, and 17 forest fragments, making up a total of 50 skill jade fragments. Additionally, aside from skill jade fragments, you will also receive a random class-specific skill jade when you defeat a tomb invader. The drop rate chance for this item depends on the labyrinth difficulty. Here are the drop rates of class-specific skill jade in each labyrinth difficulty. The other source of skill jade fragments, besides from tomb invaders, is obtaining them upon defeating a nest invader in various nest stages. Upon defeating a nest invader, you will receive a total of three skill jade fragments. I want to clarify that you will receive a total of three fragments, but the types you obtain will be random. This means you might receive two moon fragments and one forest fragment, or one of each fragment type, or even three fragments of the same type. In summary, you will obtain skill jade fragments from tomb invaders, with a chance of receiving a random class-specific skill jade, and you will also acquire skill jade fragments from nest invaders. Additionally, Welcome. skill jade fragments can be transferred through the normal server storage in your account. This means that if your sub-characters obtain skill jade fragments, you can easily transfer them to your other characters or to your main character. So, now that you know how to get skill jade fragments, let's focus on obtaining the next material, which is the powerful bonding agent. To craft a skill jade, you will need 8 pieces of powerful bonding agent. So, how do we get powerful bonding agent? Powerful bonding agent can be purchased from the NPC named Palace Attendant Jukwaliong, located in this part of Red Lotus Palace Main Streets. To acquire it, simply speak to her and select the Gold Lotus Crown Shop. Inside, you will find the Powerful Bonding Agent. To purchase one Powerful Bonding Agent, you will need one Gold Lotus Water. You might be wondering, how do we get Gold Lotus Water? Gold Lotus Water can be acquired by completing the task of clearing seven or more World Daily Tasks. You will also get Gold Lotus Water upon completing the World Daily Task, craft any one item. To access your task list, press the V on your keyboard and navigate to the task list, where you can view the world daily and weekly tasks. Additionally, both Gold Lotus Water and Powerful Bonding Agent can be transferred using your normal server storage within your account. Okay, 
Now that you know how to get powerful bonding agent, let's now go back to crafting. In my case I already have the required amount of skilled jade fragments and powerful bonding agent to craft Dreamy, Blood Moon, and Verger Dragon Jade. Ah, you must always keep an eye on those lazy hounds. At this point, you have the option to open them, but it's important to note that the contents of Sealed Dreamy, Blood Moon, and Verger Dragon Jades are random class skill jades. So, it is often more advisable to sell them in the trading house. At the time when this video was recorded, the prices for a Sealed Dreamy, Blood Moon, and Verger Dragon Jade were as follows. Please keep in mind that prices may vary over time. But what about the Sealed class specific skill jades you receive after defeating a Tomb Invader? The prices of class specific skill jades vary depending on the class, and covering the prices for all class skill jades would make the video too lengthy. Therefore, please remember to check the current prices in the trading house. Apart from crafting, is there another way to obtain sealed skill dragon jades? The answer to that question is yes. You can obtain a random sealed skill dragon jade upon defeating a stage boss during sunset cloister runs. However, it's important to note that it is not a guaranteed drop. So how can we do Sunset Cloister? The stage entrance for Sunset Cloister is located in this part of Red Lotus Palace Main Streets. To enter Sunset Cloister you will need an entry ticket called Sunset Cloister Map. You might be wondering, where do we get Sunset Cloister Maps? Sunset Cloister maps are sold in the Ladder Point shop using Ladder Points. So, how do we get Ladder Points? Ladder Points can be obtained by completing the World Daily Task, Do One Ladder Match. It's important to note that you don't need to win in order to clear this task. Accessing Ladder Matchmaking is as simple as pressing the sword icon located on the lower part of the screen. Please read this section to learn about the Ladder Schedule availability. Furthermore, you will receive a weekly Ladder Point reward based on your Ladder Rank. It's essential to note that the higher your ladder rank, the more ladder points you will receive each week. Apart from obtaining Sunset Cloister maps through ladder points, you can also purchase the Sunset Cloister map bundle in the trading house, which consists of 60 Sunset Cloister maps. And there you have it, now you know how to craft and farm skill Dragon Jades. Before you go, please leave a like, share this video with your friends, and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the comment section below.